Hello and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the 6th grade concept of multiplication and division. This is standard 6.3e in the great state of Texas. And we are using item number 38 off the 2018 released star test. If you have not done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and then we will look at our answers together. So we just have a few fractions here. We have a recipe for cooking. It requires two-thirds of a cup of butter, and she wants to make not the entire recipe, but three-quarters of the recipe, or three-fourths of the recipe. How many cups of butter should she use? Hmm. So here's the thing. When we were first learning multiplication, we learned that any time you multiply, your product or your final answer gets bigger, but that's not always the case. So let's say if we, she wanted to make the entire recipe. So that would be 2 thirds times 1. That's the whole recipe, right? Well, then obviously your answer is going to be 2 thirds. You would use 2 thirds of butter if you're making the entire recipe. She's not making the entire recipe. She's making 3 quarters of the entire recipe. And so this is my whole. And so here is my three quarters and as you can see guys three quarters is going to be less than a whole my whole is greater which means that my answer is going to end up being bigger than whatever it is that she's using since I'm not using an entire whole my new product is going to actually be smaller than two-thirds because when you multiply any number by a fraction that is less than 1 and 3 quarters here is less than 1, your product actually gets smaller. That's the crazy thing to think about. So let's see if we can line this up here. What we're going to do is we're just going to multiply these two fractions because she wants to take 3 fourths of 2 thirds. And so 3 fourths, 2 thirds. And whenever you can think of that word right there, that three-fourths of two-thirds, if you can describe your problem situation and that makes sense, this of right here usually means times. And so using the commutative property of multiplication, I can flip these in any order I want to. Here's the thing with adding and subtracting fractions. You have to have the same denominator in order to add and subtract. Multiplication and division are a lot easier. You don't have to have the same denominator just multiply straight across. So we're going to go 2 times 3, that makes 6, and then 3 times 4, that makes 12. So it seems like it's pretty simple here. My answer is 6 twelfths until we look over here at the answers on the left and we don't see 6 twelfths. So how can we turn this into a fraction that might work? Well. Hopefully we see that 6 twelfths is not simplified. So what we're thinking of is what can we divide into the top number and bottom number so that we can make a simplified fraction. You always have to divide by the same numerator and denominator because this is equal to 1. So when, a, when you divide or multiply by a fraction that's equal to 1, you're not really changing it. You're just making it look different. So I'm going to simplify by dividing by 2, so 6 divided by 2, just because I know they're both even. 6 divided by 2, that's 3. And 12 divided by 2, that's 6. So I'm not seeing 3, 6. Now i got to think, is there any number that divides into both 3 and 6? And yes, you can divide 3 over 3. So it doesn't matter if this is 2 over 2 or 3 over 3. As long as your numerator and denominator are the same, you're really dividing by 1, which means you're not changing it. You're just making it look different. 3 divided by 3 is 1, 6 divided by 3 is 2, there we go. Now that is looking like, it's one of our answers, 1 half. So 3 fourths of 2 thirds is really 1 half. Now, let's go back up here. We knew that originally she was supposed to use 2 thirds is 1 half less than 2 thirds. Well, we know how to, we know how to, um, compare fractions, but let's just go ahead and just draw a picture so visually we can see the truth here. And so here's my two-thirds, and there's my one-half as long as I drew them proportionally. Yes, two-thirds is definitely larger. Answer's J.